Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Heather Lewis and today we are going to be working on these two nightstands. I found them at Savers for only $30 and they are an identical set. That is so exciting. They're in pretty good condition. They're just a little bit outdated, kind of dusty. The hardware needs to be switched up. But I'm excited to get started with working on these. Every time I find a complete set or a matching set with night sands, it's always a good sale. So let's get this makeover started. So you guys now know what these pieces look like, so we gotta get started on this process. But I want to try to make this a one day flip. It is currently 9.30 right now on Monday morning, so we're gonna see if we can actually get these done in one day. If not, that's okay. I would rather take more than a day to flip these rather than doing a crappy job. So it's just kind of a goal that I've got up in my head, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. So first things we're going to do is take off these stickers. There are four stickers total and stickers are always a pain in the butt. So we're going to get started on doing that first. I understand they've got to put stickers on to show the price tag and whatever, but it's really inconvenient. Even if I weren't flipping these, the sticky residue is left on these pieces and sometimes it does damage them. Think about the people that are just using them as they are. It's kind of annoying and they should change it up. So the stickers are now off. Now the next step is going to be taking off this hardware. I don't think we're going to be using it again, so we will have to fill in the holes. For removing the hardware, I'm just using a simple screwdriver. You can also use a drill if you want. I just prefer the screwdriver because I have more control that way and I find it a lot easier. And as I'm taking the hardware out, I think I'm just gonna pull the drawers out as well. I need to see how they function and if I'm gonna have to fix anything or not. But so far, looking good. So as I open this bottom drawer, I actually see that this is from Stanley Furniture. I love Stanley Furniture. They're a pretty high quality brand of furniture. So it's always good to see that. Simply having a logo like that is going to allow me to sell these for more. And I'm going to be able to sell these for more because having a logo like that just kind of shows that not only is it going to look good on the outside, but the bones are also good. Um, Stanley does just make really good furniture that holds up well, so that is definitely a positive of these nightstands. Now that all of the hardware is off, I'm just going to set this aside where I have all of my other hardware. I don't think I'm going to use it for this project, but that doesn't mean I won't use it for another one. Next step in the process is going to be cleaning these off. I have my white bucket of water and Dawn dish soap in here. I'm just using a microfiber towel because I noticed that it picks up the most stuff and there is a lot of dust on these pieces, so I want to make sure that I get that off before I move on to the next step. So we're just gonna get going on cleaning these two off and we can't forget about the drawers as well. So these pieces are now cleaned. They did look very clean on the outside, but this water right here just proves how dirty these pieces actually were. So I'm glad we got that off. 
And now the next step is going to be sanding them down. Um, in my last video, I was able to get a piece outside to do some work, but the weather is fluctuating here in Minnesota. So we're going to stick to sanding the pieces by hand inside like I've been doing all winter. Soon we'll be back outside, but we're just not quite there yet. The body of these nightstands don't have any cosmetic issues and they're ready to just be sanded, wiped down, and painted. But these drawers need a little bit of work. The hardware holes need to be filled in, and there's just a few spots that need some touching up with wood filler. So I'm gonna do that first, and then we'll get started on sanding the bodies of the nightstands. And we'll even get into priming the nightstands as the wood filler is drying on the drawers. Recently, I have been using this dry deck spackling over wood filler. I do really like wood filler, but I noticed that it dries out super fast, even if the lid is on super tight. So I gave this a go because I've seen other people use it and I really do love it so far. If you have not yet tried the dry deck spackling, I definitely recommend you try it at least once so that you can decide if you like this or wood filler. It works just the same, but I will leave a link to it in my description box down below in case you guys do want to try it out for yourselves. Otherwise, we're going to get filling these hardware holes so that we can get on to the next step. Moving into sanding here, I am using a medium grit, I think 150, and the point of sanding these in a medium grit is just to give it a scuff sand. This is going to allow paint to actually grab onto the surface, so the primer is what's going to be going on next, so it's just going to give it more adhesion and something to actually grab onto, so I'm making sure to scuff sand just about everywhere that's going to get paint. Now, as I just said, primer is what is up next, and I am using the Zinzer 123 primer. I love this primer. It does not do any stain blocking, but I don't have anywhere where I broke through the finish, and there's not really any scratches or damage, so I'm not worried about that. So I'm getting this primer on, and this is what's going to not only block kind of like the darker color, since we are going to be painting these a light color, but it's also going to help the actual paint stick to the nightstands. Okay, so the primer is now dry on these nightstands. The dry decks wood filler stuff is not quite dry on the door fronts yet. So we are going to start painting these nightstands. Now I am using this color. I just got this paint from Lowe's. It was in one of those like discounted section areas. Um, I used it on a recent dresser. I'll insert a picture of it right here. I just think this color is so pretty. So we're going to go ahead and use this, but clearly this is not a chalk paint. So we need to do something to make this a chalk paint. And I've talked about this before, but we are going to be using BB Froche paint transformer. And that is this stuff. So you kind of have to do a little bit of mixing here. For one quart of paint, mix contents with four to five tablespoons of water until smooth. So this is not a quart of paint, this is a gallon of paint, but I'm not going to be using it all. So I think what I'm going to do is pour a decent amount into this container here. And then I also have this kind of four fluid ounce sample from Jolie Paint, and I'm just going to use that to reference how much of this um, powder I should be using. I'm just going to be pretty much eyeballing it. I'm not, it's not going to be perfect. If you want to make it perfect, you can. I'm just going to open this up and then I'm going to stir this because you should always stir your paint before you actually use it. I 
it says for smaller batches, mix two heaping tablespoons of powder with one to one and a half tablespoons of water for every cup of eight ounces of paint. I'm not very good with measurements, but I'm gonna say this is probably 16 ounces of paint in here, maybe a little bit more. I'm gonna start with two heap, no, I'm gonna start with four heaping tablespoons of this BB Froche paint transformer and see how that goes. And then for those four um, big tablespoons, I will also need to add three tablespoons of water. I'm gonna start with the water. One, two, three. And those were pretty small, so I'm gonna do one more. four heaping tablespoons of this. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so I still have quite a bit of that left. Now, obviously I would grab a spoon or something you don't plan on using to eat with food later on. I don't really care about these spoons. I got them at the dollar store. Now all we have to do is carefully mix all this up. All right, so after it has been all mixed up, this is what it looks like. It looks a little bit chunky, but I made sure to mix it really well. And if anything, it's just some air bubbles, so nothing to really worry about. So now that this paint is ready, we are ready to paint this on. If we ever run out, we just repeat the same process we did here. You can see as I'm actually painting it onto the nightstands, it's going on very smooth. It's not chunky at all. There's no bumps or anything. It's looking just like any other paint. So I really do love this BB Froche paint transformer. I've used it several times and if you have not yet used it, I would definitely recommend trying it out for yourself. It can definitely save you some money if you want to not have to buy from more expensive paint brands, but that's just my two cents on it. I do like it a lot. Alright, so I'm coming back about an hour later. The first coat is kind of dry, but it's not quite there yet. So. We're gonna get caught up on these drawers. The wood filler is now dry, so we gotta get this, the excess off, and then get caught up on sanding it, priming it, and getting that first coat on. So that's what we're gonna do now. Now that these hardware holes are filled, I just need to get caught up on these drawer fronts. So I'm priming and getting the first coat of paint on these as well. My boyfriend has also been working on making bases for these, so those are now on just before we get into the second coat. 
and just to make sure that I don't get paint on them I'm going to tape them off now if I were to get paint on them it wouldn't be that big of a deal because I would just sand it down a little bit and scratch the paint off but just in case for an extra measure I am going to tape these off Creating bases also makes some wood dust sometimes, so I'm just making sure to wipe all that off before we get into the second coat. All right, you guys, it is now 7.30. The sun is starting to go down. I had to change my clothes because in between drying time, I was playing with my dog. And if you know anything about dogs and their hair and shedding, especially German Shepherds, which is what I have, uh, their hair just gets all over and wet paint and dog hair does not go well together. So I changed. This is the second outfit of the day. We are going to get the top coat on these pieces, get the hardware on, and then we'll be ready for the end result. So for the top coat, I am just going to be using this Minwax Polycrylic. If you guys have been here for a while, you definitely know that this is my go-to stuff. I am also going to be mixing just a little bit of the paint color into it. I don't need to do this with the lighter colors, but I've become so accustomed to just doing it. But if you are painting on a darker color, it really does help with the cloudiness to mix some of the paint color in. So that is what I'm gonna do. Obviously this is not a dark color, but we're just gonna do it anyways. And we'll get started on putting the top coat on. Hardware holes have now been drilled and I'm going to be using this really nice bar hardware. I remember getting them on Amazon for a really good deal. It was like $30 for 30 or something like that, maybe 50 for $30. I don't remember, but I will list them down in my description box or put them on my Amazon storefront so that you guys can find them and check it out. I'm just going to show you the one, but this is a little sneak peek right before the final reveal. If you guys like this type of content, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe as it really does help the channel grow, but otherwise it is time to finally get into the final reveal.